All right, welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. And Tammy is very busy. I am working on the she, website. She's working on the website, so I'm cooking. Uh, I'm going to cook on the grill. So let's go look at the grill. And let's get us some charcoal and let's get started. The dogs are gonna help me. All right, now, I have been trying to figure out the amount of charcoal. That is like the perfect amount We'll get this burning yeah it doesn't need a whole lot of charcoal because uh, it gets it gets pretty hot all right I've got some red fish on the half shell which means it has the scales and the skin on I'm gonna pat it dry we've not tried it like this before this is a very popular um, method that a lot of people use. We've always just taken the skin off ours. But we're gonna try this, see how it does. I'm gonna kinda score this fish. It's pretty thick. There you go. I'm going to put a little Tony's just a touch on here. Just a touch. Not much. I'm going to put Salt. Pepper. A little bit. Touch of the spring onion. A little bit, not a whole lot. Some of this Smart Balance spread. I may have to put a little bit more on that later, but definitely at least that much. I'll spray a little olive oil on it. I'm gonna cut this lemon up. I'm gonna let that sit there while the coals are getting warm. All right, I'm gonna cut up these new potatoes. Also, while we got some time, we'll be having these and some broccoli. I don't talk while I'm cooking. I just talk while I'm fishing. <laughs> All right. 
fill it up with water, get that on the stove. All right, we got some broccoli florets. We'll go ahead and get them ready too. This has got water down in it. This way I got everything ready to go. Put it on the stove. But I'm not going to uh, start those yet because those don't take very long. They just have to steam. Just about cleaned up. And it'll take a little bit for the, uh, for the fish or for the uh, coals to be ready. Okay, so when those coals on the top start getting gray. I'll take that out. I'll dump it on one side of the uh, grill here. Okay, those are getting nice and hot. So, take, take that off. Dump these over here. Against the side right there. So my potatoes are starting to boil. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the broccoli. And I'm taking the fish outside. Okay, see, so I don't have a, a lid you know, to put on it, so I have to kind of work around that. But I don't want it directly on the heat. So I'm going to put a piece right here. And a piece right here. And let's see how that works with it. Uh, I may have to change what I'm doing. I haven't tried doing this with the fish yet. All the fish I've cooked has been directly on it. But, and you can see I'm using one of these gloves because... I mean, it gets hot. I mean, it really gets hot. Okay, it's been three or four minutes. It is definitely cooking. Another thing I'm going to do, I haven't tried this yet with my other stuff, but I'm going to take this cookie sheet and I'm going to set it right there. And that's really going to kind of turn this into more like an oven. It smells really good. And I may be able to just to cook these over the coals. Like I said, I haven't tried this before. Um, but I do know this skin is like really thick and those scales are really thick so they should really protect this uh, meat of this fish from getting cooking too much too fast GoPro start recording okay now what I have done because the top wasn't getting done fast enough and I did see some people that flipped them over and again I'm experimenting with my grill here but I flipped them over. You can see it's starting to flake right there. And I'm going to leave them flipped over for about three minutes. Okay, guys, I managed to get them flipped over. Now. All right, there is our fish. Looks good. Tammy, you ready to eat? I'm starving. Yummy, that looks good. It. Yep, let's try it. Alrighty. You gonna have me try it first? Yeah, just make it. Well, you want me to make it a light? Yeah, I got a plate right here. Right there. Oh, honey, okay. Just go ahead and have the plate. There you go. That was easy. Have you already squeezed the lemon on there? Nope. It's been, it's been sitting on it the whole time, so. Oh. Now, my husband's a good cook, too, y'all. 
may have to copy this onto my side too. You've done such a good job. You well, know? I didn't know exactly what I was doing with the fish, but I have hopefully have learned. All right. Okay. Now let's so, see if it's done and everything and see how it tastes. I'm going to squeeze the lemon on the part that I try. So I'm a lemon lover. Lemon's nice and juicy because it's warm. Mm -hmm. Next time I'm going to put it, I'm going to do thin coals on the bottom and put it on the direct heat. Okay. And I'm also going to cook the top part of it first What'd for you about season? three minutes. Tony's. Oh. See, and you don't eat the skin. You just, it should right. just come right off the skin. So the people that were wondering about the skin, see how the skin still preserved there. Is this the redfish? Yes. Okay. It's really good. It's good? Yeah. It tastes about like chicken. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you put lemon and stuff on it. No, it really does. Yeah. I Some mean, people put Worcestershire sauce and all kind of stuff on it. I mean, there's all kind of different ways to cook it. It's such a good piece of fish. You don't yeah. need all that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. But I put a little Tony's, a little salt and pepper, and a little bit of that spring onion mm -hmm. stuff on it. That was it. Wow. And lemon. And some of the margarine spray. He did a good job, a fine job, a wonderful job. This may be our Sunday video. Yep. Now I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to, Laura. You're hungry. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Nichols Retirement Empire, where he shows you his homemade grill. And he can cook really good. Bye, y'all.